Ready? Can you put your hands out, stretch them out like that in front of you, and hold them like you're going to stop a, so a little bit of tremor, but you've lost the, what's called asterixes or flapping your Cindy's head yesterday. Cindy's putting on how much better. burn per hour? A little over 100 cc's an hour since 7 a.m. That's good. Now, now the Bumex is down to one milligram. One milligram. And he's getting dobutamine at five micrograms per kilogram minute? I said dobutamine's off. He's just on nitro at 90 mics per kilogram per minute. Gotcha. But for his blood pressure. For okay, blood pressure. we should check just to make sure which way the creatinine is going at six o'clock this afternoon. Let's say eighteen hundred. Let's check a basic metabolic panel. Yeah. And because I want to make sure that because the creatinine is dropping, it's five three today, five six yeah. yesterday, and we just want to make sure it's heading the right direction. If not, we have to do some remedial steps. Get vital signs on him. Get a blood pressure. Hey Don, can you squeeze my hands real hard? Mm -hmm. Jane is going to start an IV in your left arm here, okay? Yeah. Has he had a CAT scan yet? He has. He's got right-sided okay. weakness, a right-sided facial droop. He's got some okay, expressive aphasia. I'm going to ask you to do a few things now. Can I have you open your eyes real wide? Real wide. Uh, give me a big grin now. Can you put your arms up for me? Hold them up like you're holding up a platter. Hold them up there. Can you get that right arm up? All right. So line, do you know that venous line is, uh, is it high? Is it up toward the atrium? I haven't, I didn't look at the, on, it on the x-ray. Okay. I mean, it looks... But it's they, a femoral line. It's a femoral line, right. It may just mm -hmm. be long and up top, but... Um, okay. But I the, think, you know, I was talking to Dr. Kim, and he said that even prior to intubation, she was mm -hmm. having the PVC. So she's had them. Okay. But I'm not sure, yeah, but I'm not sure about the central line placement one. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, know, I th they look like line unifocal, line. benign PVCs. Um, I think you're still safe to come on back, and um, we'll see. Okay. We'll take a look at the line and the electrolytes, calcium, mag, and all that stuff. Okay, we're back. connected. Hi, Mom. I'm Dr. Ellenby. I'm one of the ICU doctors up at Dornbecker in Portland. Dr. Lundquist asked me to uh, join you and take a look at your child here. It sounds like he's going to need to be transported up here to Portland. We should be down there just a little bit before midnight. Um, it's an advanced practice nurse and respiratory therapist. He'll be in very good hands on his way back up here. Uh, they ought to be able to take you with... Uh, depending, uh, I don't think there's any special concerns right now. So you'll be able to come back up with We can employ this child. technology in many different ways. We can use it for cardiology, neurology, mental health, pulmonology, ICU intensivists. There's a whole wealth of possibilities for this remote presence wireless device. She's meeting her baby boy for the very first time. <laughs> he looks just like his dad.